rocking on the roof. Do, 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 do. What is up, guys? I am proud to be partnering with Dollar Shave Club on this brand new episode of Talking on the Roof, the show where I talk about things going on in your guys' lives and then also just things happening in the world around us from my roof to get a bird's eye view on the perspective. Alright, so somebody says, I really want to start wearing nail polish, but I'm a guy and I'm worried that I'll get made fun of. How do you not let yourself worry about stuff like that? Um, okay, well first let me explain kind of how I started wearing nail polish. Um, it was about a year ago, I was hanging out at my friend's house and this girl was like, hey, let me paint your nails. And I was like, hey, I'll let you paint my nails. And it wasn't like a big deal or like a conscious life change or anything where I wasn't gonna be like, yeah, this is what I'm doing from now on. It was just like a one time, yeah, sure. And then I wore it into an episode of React that I was shooting and literally all of the comments on that video were like, why is Eric wearing nail polish? And that's fine, just asking questions and being like, oh, is that like a thing that he's gonna do now? Is that a thing he likes? But the problem is, a lot of the comments were also very negative about it, and they weren't necessarily just negative to me, but they were negative to a bunch of demographics as well, and they were saying, oh, he's wearing nail polish, so he must be gay, maybe he's transgender, things like that. So my major problem with this is that it's adding credence to this kind of preconceived notion that sexuality and gender can be a associated with these surface level trends like oh if you like chick flicks you're gay and if you like sports you're straight and if you wear nail polish or high heels or wigs or things like that you're gay but if you wear these other fashion items where you're straight and it's insulting because it's implying that if you are gay or a woman or literally any attribute any demographic anything then you have to be pigeonholed into this one specific lifestyle and this one specific thing and it's making everything so two-dimensional because we're not just these flat creatures that can be assigned to basic tropes whoosh we aren't 90 sitcom characters we are three-dimensional humans and it's not a big deal because you're not representing some stereotype and you're not representing another person you are you and you can literally be whatever you want. I, I kind of like to wear nail polish now even though it's super chipped and bad right now. I like wearing nail polish because it reminds me that other people don't get to define me. Only I can do that and only you can define you and it doesn't matter what you like, it doesn't matter what you dislike, it doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter what you don't wear. It matters who you are and what you think and how you act and you can literally be a mix of anything that you want because it's your life and you don't have to be labeled. You can just live. I thought this was a less busy street than it is. Whoosh. Talk about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star's new series. Gladly. Holy crap. Okay, I've only seen the first video. Full disclosure. But that's because I'm behind in literally every aspect of my life. So, I'm sorry. But I will say, Shane Dawson is insane. He is killing the game right now. There is this saying in digital media, and I'm sure other things, but I'm in digital media, so I know it as a saying from digital media, um, that is adapt or die. And Shane De Dawson is the definition of that. He is always, he's always, he's changed his style while remaining true to himself, and I think that's such a weird balancing act to walk, of not trying to conform, but still being able to relate to like what is the trending format while still keeping it in your own voice in your own way and he blends it all together to be this perfect mixture of everything and I'm so impressed and just watching it like from the point of view of like making YouTube videos and also like liking filming and editing and production all that stuff just it's all about the tiny details it's all about the tiny little whooshes it's all in the details because Every, every every time I watch his new videos, it's always just like, wow, that choice of, you know, having that camera be there and then cutting to this clip right there is with this overlay and this voiceover, it's all just, it's done so purposefully. And I think it's amazing how he uses it to tell a narrative, but it's not necessarily a narrative that he's trying to push. And he's not saying like, this is the story that I'm writing and this is how I'm going to view it. And this is my perspective. And this is what I'm showing you. He's just telling the narrative of reality and he's doing it through his eyes but it's how he truly is just seeing it and he's not trying to like cover it up or put a filter on it it's just I'm gonna work as hard as I can to replicate my perspective on the world and show it to you and I think that's so commendable and it's so cool to see it on this platform that's all about connectivity and communication and it's it's just so innovative and amazing and I'm so excited for the future and what he's bringing to the table and how much it's gonna push other people to be like oh crap yeah I gotta start working even harder and building all my formats and doing everything because it's it's mind-blowing. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, so someone says, how do I survive a midlife crisis, especially when I'm only a quarter of the way through my life? 
So I've touched on this topic in other videos before, but when it comes to anxiety about time and life and how much of it you have left, I like to look at the world in percentages, and it's because, like, I'm 21 years old right now, and I'll probably live to be about 80 if, you know, I meet kind of the average for the year that I was born. That's It'll probably be around that. So I'm about 25% of the way done. And that is so cool to me because I have done so much in that one fourth of a lifetime. Are you kidding me? I can look back and I can remember such a specific and vivid memory of being like two years old, like laying in my parents' bed and they were asleep and I was just staring up at the ceiling. And that is the same person that is me today, but that's such a drastically different person because every single thing I've ever experienced and every thought I've ever had and every opinion and perspective and emotion ever felt by me in my brain and anything I can ever conceive of the world is only one-fourth of my total being. So I have to repeat that entire cycle from that moment where I didn't know what was happening, I was just staring at the ceiling between my parents, to today. I'm gonna go th through three more cycles of that and I'm gonna grow so much and experience so much and feel so many things that I didn't know that I could feel and it's so exciting because I've done so much and it, there's so much left in comparison. So it's all just growth. And even if I was three quarters of the way done, are you kidding me? Another like 20 years left? You can fit so much into just a year, just a month, just a day, just a second, as long as you're just in the moment. You're not worrying about the future and what might happen and oh, I only have this much time to do this much. You, you just are in the moment because it's that moment, it's that point zero 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 one percent of your life that you're just in. So I also have kind of a second thought on this and it's gonna be mildly pretentious and only loosely relate to the topic, but it's something I've been thinking a lot about recently so I kinda wanna vocalize it and see if maybe it ties together after it all comes out of my mouth. Um, I think that the only, true, no not the only, I think one of the only worthy pursuits in life is a creation of potential. And when I say creation, I mean it in the most abstract form possible of whatever it means to you. So like a construction worker is destroying things with his life and he breaks everything down, but I think it's still a creative process because he's allowing potential to be made with this new space. He's tearing down existing walls so that something can be built. It's just the very first step. And so I think if you live life with this perspective of I wanna create potential for whatever it is I wanna do, then you're not gonna be worrying about the future because you're going to be just in this potential of anything could happen and anything could grow from it because it's not I'm gonna work 20 years and then I'm gonna transfer this job and work 20 more years and then retire and then die. It's oh, I'm gonna create whatever it is that I want out of life, whether it be any career path, any dream, anything, I'm gonna create more potential for it and I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna expand it and then once I expand that, I'm gonna turn it on 10 and I'm gonna do something else going off of this thing that I discovered from that and build it bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just gonna be so much creation that you're not even gonna recognize your initial dream because there is so much potential to be had and then going forward you have so much potential going out of everything that you made from that potential that you're always in this constant cycle of just this is what is happening right now because right now is what I am using to work towards what's gonna be that I won't even know because it's just the potential of now and I think that's such a cool way of just being because you're not worried about these milestones as much you're just working every day to create more potential and I don't know if that relates to your question or topic at all but I kind of like it so my name is whoosh and I live on the second floor. Talk about Ariana Grande's engagement. Oh yeah, that rings a bell. <laughs> Get it? Oh, I'm sorry, did that not engage with you? <laughs> okay, if anything, Ariana Grande's engagement has shown me that people are way too comfortable with judging people that they don't know. These people are living their lives in the limelight, and that's, you know, that's fine. That's the life they chose to live, and it goes with their professions, and it makes sense. And you can watch that, and you can observe it, but to say, like, this is how it is, and this is the world, they're too young, it's wrong, they're not in love, they're gonna break up, it's like, yeah, maybe, but also maybe not, and you're not the authority on it, and you're not the person I would ask, whoosh, you're just some dude with like literally five facts that they read off of an article that a person wrote at 3 a.m. because they were trying to meet a deadline and they read somebody else's article and it's all distorted and it doesn't really matter. All right guys, and now I'm gonna start ending these videos off by telling you something that's going on in my life, because a lot of you 
are sharing very personal things happening and you know things that are going on in your mind and I want to share parts of me. So for this first one it may seem like a little bit of a cop out but I am super excited to tell you guys that I'm working with Dollar Shave Club to bring you this episode of Talking on the Roof and I'm going to talk about you know their products and I can get them and what they mean to me in a second but first I do just want to be completely transparent and tell you why I think this is such a cool thing to be working with Dollar Shave Club because I genuinely think they are such a cool and interesting company because they I truly believe that they want to help the world and just make everything slightly better and an example of this is hold on I want to get it right they were the official sponsor for the colon cancer alliance Michael Dublin the CEO of Dollar Shave Club live streamed his colonoscopy to help destigmatize it and that is the most insane thing ever who does that that's so cool hold on there's a whoosh coming and I don't want it to interrupt this because that's awesome that is one of the most vulnerable experiences that you could possibly have and he knew that people were afraid of it and embarrassed by it and ashamed of it and didn't want to talk about it and didn't want to share it and might you know not want to go do it because of these different things but it's so important to do it if it's something that you need to do to stay healthy and so he live streamed it who does that that's awesome it's just so cool to have this community and to have their community and to have them all be a part of each other because we're all the same people and we all just want to help people and I think that's so cool so they're a very cool company and their products are very cool and very high quality so I'm gonna tell you about them now and I hope you check them out because I really just want the best for them so we all have our everyday grooming routines and mine usually consists of <laughs> taking a shower and then not having enough time to try to do anything with my hair so I put on a beanie and then I take the beanie off my hair still wet so I try to run my hair through it to give it like natural curves and then it just does this and poofs out and I look like a hipster Bob Ross which is actually kind of what I'm going for so I'm excited by it no matter your routine though a Dollar Shave Club has everything you might need including you know toothpaste razors body wash and so much more Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their their daily essential starter set to new members for only five dollars. This starter set features three trial size versions of their most popular products along with their executive razor. So in their first box you will receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You'll also receive their executive razor which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassettes of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. All of this stuff is going to help you stay in fresh and clean, and if you want to check out this $5 offer, you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash ericbeckerman, and if you want me to repeat that a second time for emphasis, well, I will, because you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash ericbeckerman to check it out. Support them, support me, support the show, and, you know, support yourself, because it really is high-quality stuff. I use their shave butter, I use their lavender body wash, and honestly, I love all of it, and I didn't even know that they made products beyond just razors and razor blades, and so I'm super excited to get to use all of these different grooming products and test them out and I am just so pumped because they're all pretty awesome and they are really all high quality. I'm such a fan you guys. Once again thank you guys so much for talking to me on my roof. I'll see you next time. Check it out. I learned how to play the ukulele behind my back. Pretty great, right? Rock and roll.